And when you're having your services stripped away, your income stripped away, being able to manage to keep yourself clean, heat your home and cook are vitally important to keeping your body and your soul together. And what we're seeing is that parents of disabled children are having to choose not to eat. What we're seeing is that people are sleeping with jackets on and shoes on. And what we're seeing is that people are being further and further pushed to the margins. But the second thing I want to talk about is actions like this and how important they are. Because actually, actions like this are creating spaces which are provoking reactions. When you see that the Labour Party has to respond to groups like Fuel Poverty Action and take action around the, the energy companies and promise to freeze prices for 20 months, which isn't in any way, shape or form enough, but it's an acknowledgement that this has now become an issue. And that's because at events like this, activists like you come out and win. When we go to places like Falcon, and when we see a thousand activists turning up in Falcon and shutting down the likes of Quadrilla and not allowing them to do what they want to do, that's another win. When we come away from Falcon, we see that community by itself invest in renewable energy and community projects and actually put their money into clean, accessible energy which the whole community can access as an alternative to Centrica and British Grass and all the rest of them. That's a win. And when we see the solidarity right across all the groups where you have the Greater Londoners, the Greater Londoners uh, Pensioners Association, where you have UK and COP, where you have DPAC and the Occupy Movement out here connecting the dots and making sure that when actions like this happen, those are wins. Never think that this doesn't have an impact. The people that are standing in queue today are taking on board what your message is. The people that are sitting inside there, not all of them, but there are people inside there who are taking on board what the message is. And more importantly, people out in the general public are taking on board what the messages are. We must continue to come back and, hara and harass and hound these companies until we have an energy system which is democratic, which is owned by the people, which is run by the people, which is sustainable, accessible, and absolutely something that works with us and not for us. Solidarity.